Shiok is a Singaporean expression Shiok. Shiok. that denotes a feeling of sheer pleasure and happiness and lately we have been using that a lot. Hello and welcome back guys. Me and my daughter Navya are in Singapore for a girls only trip. Now yesterday we had a super thrilling day. Navya convinced me to try indoor skydiving, bungee jumping and we had a crazy time at the water park. I really stepped out of my comfort zone but I'm so glad I did that. So today to reward ourselves we are going to indulge in something we truly love. Tell them what that is Navya. Food. Yes, food. So today we are going to eat everything there is in Singapore. Come join us. First on the list is a bike tour of the city of Singapore. So we'll be riding on a bike, hopping on from place to place, tasting the food and also discover the heritage of Singapore. Navya is on a scooter and we can't wait to check it out. Hello everyone. Hi. My name is Elfi. I'm going to be your guide for today. So today we are going to ride and scoot yeah around um, the city center. So some of the places includes Marina Bay, the Formula 1 pit, Chinatown and many more. So are you guys ready? Yes. Yeah. Awesome. Give me a high five. We are at Kampung Glam Cafe. So this is a, a Malay cafe. And what we have for you in front of you are Malay slash Indonesian dishes. Okay, let's start with this one right here. This is also good. This is like aloo ka paratha. It's actually like aloo ka paratha that we make in India. It was lovely meeting you and experiencing Singapore through you. Yeah, know, likewise. It's a pleasure. Thank you so much. Navi, I hope you enjoyed your time today with us. Yes. Right. We had fun, we had fun. Thank right. you. Thank you so much. So we've enrolled for a one-day cooking class today and my little chef and me are going to try out some Singaporean recipes. I'm quite interested in this class because I like to experiment in the kitchen. So we might take back a few recipes with us, right Navya? Yes. Hi. Hi. Good morning, my name is Michelle. I'm Avantika, she's my daughter Navya. Hello, Hello. how are you? So what are we Hi. cooking today? Oh, today we'll be making a dessert called Kueh Dada, which is a sweet coconut um, filling made wrapped with a fragrant crepe. It's a Singaporean recipe? Yes, it's a Singaporean recipe, very popular in Singapore. Okay, we're looking forward to it. I've never really experimented with prawns and squids at home so I'm really looking forward to it also because it has noodles and noodles are something that kids love. Yeah. And now we're going to make the pancake. Yo. Into the bowl. We will add the coconut cream. So next, we will put in the pandan extract. Yes, we mix it smooth until there's no more lumps. When it's dry and the edges start to curl up, that's when you know it's done. So we now keep it one side for eating later on and then we will start making the noodles. We will start by making the broth to cook the noodles in. So this is like the soup. Put some oil in the pan. Okay. Garlic has such a, you know, strong uh, aroma to it. Yeah, how it feels. So I'm going to remove the prawn heads from the from the soup. We will pour the broth into the noodles. Okay, so we are done? Yes. Now we'll plate it. It had lots of ingredients. So are we ready to taste? Yes. It's so yummy. It's yummy, Michelle. It's, it's really. I'd I mean. like to eat it all. <laughs> okay. I can't leave this bowl. Astonished! Become your admirer. Astonished! <laughs> <laughs>
We are now at the famous Dempsey Road and I have found a place that serves authentic Peranakan food. In fact, the only Michelin star Peranakan restaurant in the world, Candlenut. This restaurant is called Candlenut and it's owned by star chef Malcolm Lee. Ma, look, there he is. Navya, how did you recognize him? I saw him on the restaurant website. Wow, that's so cool. Hi, my name is Malcolm. Hello, nice I'm to meet you. I'm from hi. India and Hello. she's my daughter Navya. Hi, hi. So welcome to our restaurant. This is a uh, you know Kenonat restaurant, and um, you know we are doing Peranakan food, which is a fusion of Chinese uh, and Malay cultures and flavors as well. Yeah, so it is a very unique cuisine to Singapore, uh, and we started this restaurant like ten years ago. Okay. Uh, I started with my mom, okay. and you know it's been a long journey, um, but just wanted to share our family's uh, recipes, mm. uh, dishes, and stories with our guests. What's your favorite very dish good. on the menu? Wow, so many, <laughs> okay. so many. Okay. So let's try it then? Yes, yeah? of course. Yes. It's yummy, it has a really strong and vibrant texture and it, it, it has coconut milk in it and turmeric which is like one of my favourites. How was it? Okay? Mm, it was Good. yummy, it was delicious. Spicy. Yes, it was delicious. It had okay. some spice in it but yeah. the right kind of spice. Thank, thank you, you, know, thank for, you so yeah, much for taking it. Let you enjoy. I'm sure my mom, grandma, they'd be very happy to hear that. Yeah, we're, we're so glad to meet you. Okay, alright, thank, thank you so much. Yeah. yeah. After discovering Singapore on a bike, trying out some authentic Peranaka food at uh, Candle Nut, we are now here at the Singapore Food Festival. Well, we can't get enough of the local Singaporean cuisine, so we are here at the Singapore Food Festival and trying out some local delicacies. at La Pasa, one of the most famous hawker centres in Singapore. This place is a unique blend of history, beautiful architecture and scrumptious local cuisine. I feel like I can't wrap my head around the depth and diversity of the food scene here and have a lot of must visits for you. Or if you like street food, then let your senses lead the way with oriental delights in the colourful lanes of Chinatown. You know what? I can't wait to try out the food here. I think if I stay here, Mama, my tummy will be happy forever. Yes, me too. If you're planning a vacation with your child or family and don't know what place to go to, I think Singapore is the answer and a city you must visit with your family. Singapore is a great place for adventure, water sports and of course delicious food. Honestly for me, this trip has been liberating. I overcame my fears here thanks to my little explorer Navya. Right Navya? What do you feel? I don't want to go back home. Even I don't want to go back home but sadly we are headed to India today. But we'll come back here again soon. So we will come here with Papa next time. Yes, definitely. See you soon in my next adventure. Until then, keep travelling and spreading the love. We'll miss you, Singapore!